Hi, it's Frank Hoos from Minilave.com. I'm going to spend a few minutes uh, going over the terminology of the uh, mini lathe, explaining some of the different parts and what their names are and some basic information about how they're used. That will give you a good foundation for uh, understanding how the lathe works and getting into some of the more detailed and advanced topics. So let's get going with that. Alright, starting down at this end, we have the electronic control panel here and that has your on-off switch, your speed control knob, and your forward reverse switch. Behind that is this uh, cast iron block here referred to as the headstock and it supports the chuck. The chuck of course is uh, just like a drill chuck but it supports the workpiece. Down at the opposite end here we have the tailstock. The tailstock is used for drilling operations. There's a drill chuck mounted in this end but you can mount other tools in here as well. Now supporting the entire lathe you have this red casting here which is referred to as the bed. And the top part of the bed, is, it's all part of the same casting, has been precision ground to form a guide. And the precision ground part is called the ways, W-A-Y-S. The carriage, which I'm moving here, this part of the lathe here, is called the carriage, and it moves along the ways. The ways are set up so that they're parallel with an imaginary line running between the headstock and the tailstock, and that imaginary line is called the lathe center line, right along here. So we move the carriage along the ways between the headstock and the tailstock. Let's uh, zoom in here and take a closer look at the carriage. This whole assembly here is called the carriage, and as you can see, it moves back and forth along the ways when I turn this hand wheel, which is called the carriage hand wheel. On top of the carriage is the cross slide, and it moves in and out perpendicular to the ways when I turn the cross slide hand wheel, which is sometimes also called the cross feed. On top of the cross slide is mounted the compound slide, which moves back and forth when I turn the compound hand wheel. Now the compound can be rotated. There's some screws underneath here that can be loosened and you can uh, set the angle of the compound anywhere along 360 degree arc uh, to achieve compound cuts such as a short taper or a bevel on the end of a workpiece. On top of the compound sits the tool holder or the tool post sometimes called and it holds the actual cutting tool or the tool bit uh, which does the cutting action of the lathe. Now there's two other uh, controls here. This one is called the half nut lever and it is used to engage the carriage with the lead screw. The lead screw is this long screw that runs along the length of the bed and the lead screw uh, under certain conditions rotates and allows the carriage to be moved under control of the uh, lathe motor. So when the half nut lever is engaged and the lead screw is turning the carriage will move towards the headstock under control of the motor. When the half nut lever is raised, the carriage is disengaged from the lead screw. The lead screw continues turning, but the carriage is no longer moving.